morning. We are out here, gonna do some uh, steelhead fishing. All by myself, kinda earlier December. Been out a couple times, still looking for that first steelhead of the season, but water looks absolutely perfect. We just got down here to the hole, river's right behind me. Um, hoping to get the first one. Hoping to get that first fish of the season. There's been a few fish caught. I've seen a couple fish get caught. Talked to some people that have seen some fish get caught. So they're around. And um gonna gonna do our best to get one today. Alright guys, um, move spots, we're at hole number two now, this is a really good hole here as well, fished that last spot for about 30-45 oh, minutes or so, ran, uh, ran it pretty good, no luck, like I said not a ton of time today, I can't fish like all day long, just a good morning fish, so I noticed that nobody else had walked up the, the trail to go this direction, and so I figured hey let's just hit this trail before anybody else can get up here let's go fish this hole so hopefully a uh, chrome steel head soon Oh my God, I got a fish. I got one, guys. It's an old Chinook. Looks like an old Chinook. Wow, look at this. That's so cool. Alright, he is heavy. It's actually decent shape though. Look at that fish. That is so powerful. He's got decent color to him still.
All right, guys. Look at that baby. What a beauty of a fish. Beauty of a fish. Nice big Chinook. Still in pretty decent shape, but let you go off spawn. I got a splint on my fingers. I had a work accident a couple months ago, and I've had surgery on my fingers, and actually here in a couple days, there's metal pins right now that are holding everything together inside. Here in a couple days, they're gonna take those pins out and getting pretty well healed now, but, so that was a little, little bit tricky trying to land a fish with, like this, but, wow, nice, nice Chinook. That was a surprise. Uh, still pretty bright. Had a little bit of wear on him, just from coming up these gravel shoots and stuff, but that was awesome. He's powerful fish. That was awesome. Let's see if we can catch a steelhead now. has got all this uh, nice softer stuff and as these fish come up when they travel up these these big rapids and, and the shallow shoots and stuff you got to think these fish are coming all the way from the ocean and they have a long journey ahead of them they don't want to sit in that fast stuff they don't want all that current ripped on their face what these fish want to do is find these, these soft little spots here and, and feed take breaks get some rest before they have to go back up and, and continue their journey. So I'm just running my bobber right on the edge. So that way it would be like food coming down off the rapid. These fish would be sitting just right on the outside of that, that current and uh, just letting that worm work its way down to them. And I'm not hitting bottom, so I'm actually gonna get just a little bit deeper. Where you wanna be is roughly six to 12 inches from the bottom. You don't want to be dragging on the bottom with this type of setup, but you don't want to be way over the fish's head either. You want to be kind of right, right in their face with that presentation. Steelhead. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! That was a steelhead, guys. Oh. That one was a steelhead. Seen it. Man. We had one. Damn. Yeah, he just completely tore that worm up. Man. All right, guys. Well, fun little morning adventure. I'm on my way out now. Oh, nice old Chinook, which was pretty cool. I like. Didn't get to do much salmon fishing myself this year because of my hand. So, really I didn't get to do any. Um, so it was cool to be able to catch that Chinook. Powerful fish, still pretty nice fish, color wise, but um, yeah. Hooked a steelhead, sucks we couldn't land it. That was a nice fish. Had it on for a second. I hope you guys were able to see that pretty well. 
I just put the, I'm just filming with the DSLR camera. I had it on a tripod, so hopefully the footage is okay today. Hope you guys enjoyed the elk series. It was a season full of ups and downs, and now we're gonna start filming a bunch of fishing content for you guys. In the past, we've only done hunting stuff, and for the next few months, we're planning on filming a bunch of steelhead stuff for you guys, so stay tuned with that. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe. If you wanna follow along with more of our adventures, uh, like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.